got a welder up in northern Vermont. Says you can clean that up. We just got to get the bearings out of it and can fix it. So that's got to get sent up. Got to get it cleaned up. All the bearings out. Obviously get that off. And uh, we'll get the chain adjusters out. Get it all cleaned up and sent up to them. Oh no, it doesn't fit. There we go. Don't mind a mess my tools are in. So this should help get the swing arm bearings out. And if that doesn't work easily enough, I do have a shop press. So we can use that. Just gotta make a room. Get this. Okay, I got them out. I was kind of being foolish, uh, thinking I was just gonna hammer these out. These are in there pretty good. Uh, so I just ended up finding a socket and uh, the shop press works great. It's just a pain to get things to sit right in it. So I ended up just using a vise. I have a vise in my basement. Uh, put a socket that fits it on the inside and just pushed it out with the vise till it got right to the end and I was able to tap it out. So got to get this thing all cleaned up good. Um, I do need to still get this out and pull everything off. And then yeah, we'll get this up to the welder and uh, get this big mess cleaned up. Like that. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of an update. Uh, the frame is off to power coating. And um, I want you guys to comment below and let me know what color you think uh, I went with. Um, little clue, it's not the green or the white that I was originally thinking. Had a change of mind. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I know the frame last I knew a couple days ago was being sandblasted. So I think he's just waiting on the, the power coating and we'll have that back in no time. Um, but since I can't show you the frame and all that, um, I did get my pegs. So um, did a lot of research. <clears throat> and everybody says that the aluminum frame YZ foot pegs fit the K-axis. Um, I did want to go with a modern wider peg. Um, you know, the, the stock, let me find the stock pegs. The stock pegs are pretty narrow uh, and they're old and they're just nasty looking. We don't want, we don't want that in a, on one of these bikes. So, all right. So yeah, let's, uh, let's open up the new pegs. Okay. So ordered a couple things. I ordered the stock replacement, um, just what I order the pins and I got that from Rocky Mountain. So that's just boring hardware stuff. These are the pegs. And these are just like the cheapy eBay pegs, but you know, for $35, like, let's, let's try it, you know? And apparently you do have to do a little bit of grinding. So for 35 bucks, it's worth a shot. Let me set this down a second. Yeah, there they are. Oh, that's, that's not bad for 35 bucks. Those are some pretty good looking pegs. And uh, the good thing is, is the black doesn't give away the frame color, but I think will look very sharp. And yeah, so I'm very excited. Also, subframe, and along with the swing arm, are gonna be vapor blasted, or yeah, vapor blasted. Um, and that's coming out really, really good. So that will be probably the next episode. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time because we are waiting on a lot of parts and can't do much without the frame. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, you know, follow along if you want to see this build. I really appreciate it. Definitely comment below different things you would like to see on this, what you like I'm doing, what you don't like I'm doing. I'll take all the feedback I can get. So I appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.